Cuts are a painful part of life for many, and you may be experiencing them more often if you're working more from home and spending more time in front of a screen. Headaches may be more frequent and more severe, and doctors say it's important to pinpoint the cause and find relief. Dr. Ann Tiener is a neurologist and headache expert, and she's joining us now with some tips to help. Thanks for being with us, Dr. Tiener. Thanks for having me. All right, so first of all, what causes a headache in the first place? You know, that's, that's a really hard question to answer. Uh, we um, are still learning a lot about headaches, migraines, different types of uh, migraine phenomena. Um, but uh, in general, there's, there's a consensus that there's a property of inflammation, um, a cascade of inflammation that can happen in the brain that ends up irritating uh, the different nerves in the brain and that the end result is head pain. So how does looking at a screen impact that? Because a lot of people are experiencing that when they're home and looking at a screen all day. Yeah, a lot of different things can trigger people's headaches, be that tension type headaches or migraine headaches or migraineous headaches. Um, and diff different people have different triggers. So if it so happens that uh, long hours in front of a computer is a trigger for an individual, then to be able to be aware of that uh, trigger um, is very important because then that's something that is potentially modifiable. So that is one way that you can address it. Are there any other tips for addressing these serious headaches some people are getting? Well, in general, I always uh, recommend that uh, we have a balanced uh, lifestyle, uh, including adequate hydration, consistent, sufficient sleep, not missing meals, getting some fresh air, regular exercise. Um, migraineurs te tend to have brains that like a lot of routine and regularity. Mm. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, if we incorporate complementary modalities like stress reduction and relaxation techniques that can also mitigate um, some of the effects of these external uh, triggers. Um, and everyone really should just uh, understand their body and their responses to these external triggers and um, follow their doctor's recommendations and advice on on how to uh, how to treat and how to utilize the medications they have at their disposal. When are when you should you worry that it might be something more serious? Something I recommend to every uh, patient of mine is to keep track of their headaches in a diary. Um, so. Uh, we need to take into consideration the change in the characteristics of an individual's headache, whether that's frequency or the associated symptoms. And so if there is a change from what is uh, the norm for that individual, then I would encourage a, a discussion with the with that individual's neurologist um, or a headache provider to uh, um, further evaluate and assess if further diagnostic tests and treatment need to be pursued. All right, good information. Thanks for sharing it with us. And you can find out more on headache warning signs and treatment options by texting 4 p.m. No spaces, no punctuation to the number on your screen.